One out of every nine high school seniors has tried a type of synthetic marijuana. The drug's booming popularity is also sending more and more teens to the ER. NBC 15's Markley Pollock has more. It's called K2 or synthetic marijuana, and we've told you about it in the past right here on NBC 15. Well, it's popping up in emergency rooms across the country and right here in our area. In some cases, it can be incredibly difficult for a doctor to diagnose. Doctors say teens who've taken the substance come to the ER. Some are unable to speak or unresponsive. Determining what's wrong with them can be a challenge. Signs and symptoms aren't always clear because not everyone reacts the same. My personal experience, I had a patient that uh, was extremely agitated, lightheaded and dizzy, um, passed out, and when they came to, um, by the time they arrived in the emergency department, had admitted to trying K2. Doctors say if you notice your teen having a difficult time breathing, if they appear to be out of it, or if they appear to be hallucinating, you may want to seek medical attention. K2 is relatively new, so doctors aren't sure what the long-term effects may be. In many cases, K2 is marketed as incense or bath salts, and sometimes it's even marketed as a safer form of marijuana. But doctors say do not be fooled. There's nothing safe about it. In Madison, I'm Barkley Pollock, NBC 15 News.